Hello, Juche music person called first name. Mrs. Last name. It's been a long time, but Juche are still making music. We are very happy to announce the release of our second full length music album called Echo Dollar Title. We would love it if first name download and listen to new album. The album can be obtained digitally for name your price from Bandcamp. Get it free. A limited edition LP vinyl 33 and one third RPM is also available. Consider it. Peace, love, and strange sample based music. Sincerely, Jack of Juche. Buddy, Tim and I are having a sleepover and we're pillow fighting in our underwear. Um, giggle, giggle, giggle. Yeah, you hear that? He's, <laughs> he's giggling. Um, yeah. This is Nursery Podcast. I pod- just pictured us fighting in our underwear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's gross. Because uh, we are. Um, and there's a mirror right there. So Why it's are really we all easy. sweaty? I don't know. This is taking a turn. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's my turn now. That's no, gross. <laughs> um, so you're listening to Nursery Podcast. Make sure you go to thirdclass.net for your music needs or bullskit.com for your comedy needs. Um, if you're a new listener, you don't know what those things are, maybe give them a try. Uh, otherwise, I just want to explain to you that this is just creative people in a small town area of Ohio talking. So if that's not your thing, turn it off. Ready? We're going to talk about high school dances today. Yay! Me and... Tim Smiley. We're students at... East Palestine Schools, that is a small town on the border of Pennsylvania and Ohio. There were school dances from, I believe, like 6th or 7th grade on for for students. Um, I'm going to tell a story real quick, and then maybe this will inspire something for you. I went to my first school dance, I believe, in 7th grade. Uh Um, I think it was a homecoming or something. Somebody, I'm not going to name names, this girl came up and asked me. She's not somebody I knew well, but I was a... Pretty much a loser in high school, so it was like it's pretty cool experience to me. Okay. She asked me to dance with her, and I put my hands on her hips, and like she I was. Put my hand upon. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I should tell you who it is, so that you. Can you uh, bleep it? Yeah, yeah. I'll bleep, hold on. Okay. I just bleeped it to tell, or I just paused it to tell Tim <laughs> who it was, just if it adds anything for him. Um, it does. So, so it was this girl who's like very pretty, like very nice yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, and, and very like, popular. She's she popular, was, especially, like, like I was just like, oh, crap. Upper I didn't tier. know her that well, but upper to me it was, yeah. So she asked me to dance with her, and uh, I was like, what? <laughs> you want to dance with <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. And I was very nervous, and uh, I like had my hands on her hips, and it, embarrassingly enough, I uh, turned my palms out because I was so scared to touch a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and like... So and so, she like, must like she regretted it immediately. I'm oh sure. God, yeah, that's why. The, that's exactly why people like her didn't usually. Ask, you could yeah. tell she was going out on a limb. Yeah, and she was like, like, "Who's I that? Oh, he's kind of cute. He could be a somebody. Yeah. He could be somebody if he just got over his. Okay, okay I regret yeah. this. I hate this. You know, that's that's yeah, what yeah. happens with the people. Oh sure. Um, so, but it was amazing. It was just great that she asked me to dance. It made me feel really good. And then there was another time during that same year, I think I would dance with somebody who I had a crush on. And I remember on my way home in East Palestine, walking up uh, my hill back to my, my mom's house and kind of like just being really excited and kind of like being like, kind of that slow mo, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like after your first kiss. Yeah, yeah. And like, and I, like, that was weird, but I liked it, but I don't mm, know. Plenty yeah. of people that age had already like had sex and stuff. And I was like, she asked me to dance. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, with you do you have any stories like that from that time in your life? What Nothing were school like dances that. Well, like let me that? tell you like this. I, I went to a few, but I, um, I, I, my self conscious. I've never, I never had self confidence as a kid, so I never danced with anybody. I don't remember if anyone asked me to. High school, nothing. No, really. No, okay, this what, is a whole other side of school dance. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because I didn't, I just didn't go. I didn't go to prom. Right. I was asked to prom. Jenna Price asked me to prom. That's awesome. She was like a freshman, and I was like a junior or something, senior. I don't know, but I, I didn't go. I was like, really? Because I was making a stand. Here's the thing. Here was yeah. me in high school. Here was me in high school. Oh, you got a class ring? That's stupid. Oh, you got a Letterman jacket? That's stupid. That was my... And I don't know what I was covering up. I don't know what I was afraid of. Yeah, yeah. But that was my... uh, Against everything. Sort of like... uh, 
I don't know what it was. You were quite a bit more popular than I, I was. Though. Which like, is funny. I thought you would have definitely been at all right. these things. But again, I was... Girls around. liked you a lot. Did they? Like, at, at least in that dumb way that everyone hates. But like, he's really funny. He's oh, my friend. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. yeah, I was everybody's if buddy. If not anything else. I was everyone's know. pal. Right. Which is great. But, you know, I'll tell you this. I do remember... <laughs> What year did the second President's album come out? You're going to know this. Oh, I know you brought two to the dance. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Do you remember Uh, that? Yeah, and you brought Pinkerton. I did. Um, Thank you for remembering. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I think it came out like 97 or something. Okay, so no, it would have been before that because I was... Eighth, seventh or eighth grade. Let me see. I it think, was middle school. I think it was ninety five when their first album. Maybe they followed it up quick in ninety six. It must have been ninety six. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. so it was middle school, and I brought two. The Presidents of the United States of America. If you guys know Lump and Peaches, their second album, which was way better. Yeah, it was. It was. It was actually <laughs> re- recorded in a studio, mm-hmm. and it was great. They, but they they had money now, which is great. But then they still used the three string. Bass. They mm-hmm. kept that a- a- aesthetic. Three string uh, guitar, two string bass. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but, they, they, they had a little bit. Yeah, they were kind of. But at polished. some points, yeah. there were like some piano in there. Mm-hmm. That was some the Tennille. That was Tennille from Captain and Tennille. Really? Or I mean, Captain. Sorry. I didn't Tenille. know that. Yeah. They, he's not credited, but he was on their tour. He was he oh, was on awesome. Jenny McCarthy's show. With, I gotta. I, hey, how old I am? No, it's Got fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, 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 <laughs> so I brought that and. I I don't know if you were you. Oh, I saw you there. That's, that was awesome. Because me and Tim brought dumb CDs that DJs would never play at dances but they, and handed them to them. But and they, they sometimes did. played them. Yeah. He played um, Mach 5 yeah, for us. Which is amazing. Because Josh Reddick yeah. and I, and this is so funny, we had a group. This, and I, yeah. didn't, I forgot that this was my first band. Yeah. It was me and Josh Reddick, and we loved the presidents. And he had, I had sold him my drum set so yeah, I could man. buy a computer. And he had like a. Uh, two string nothing guitar but it was the guitar with the amp built in had like a little speaker in it mm-hmm. it was a little black thing Yeah. and we wrote like five songs and I found them no my sister found them and, and sent them to me like they were they had been they were on printed mm-hmm. sheets of paper and they were about like tsunamis and rats and, and, and things like that and then remember Matt Cosma uh, remember I can't him remember at all? He was younger. He was he was, he yeah. was a brilliant pianist. We asked him to be in our group, but he was so good that we couldn't. There was no common ground. So you guys were the out. presidents, and he was the captain. Kind of, yeah. 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 Um, what is it about East Palestine? What's in the water there? I don't a bunch know. of us started with like guitars with less strings on yeah. them. Well, I and, think like, it, we were country bumpkins, and we appreciated the president's aesthetic because of like peaches and stuff like right. that. Like, there's something in the water in these small towns where people are like. Dude, I remember other friends, like yeah. other people I knew, like Greg Myers had the presence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack and him had the cassette when they were right. really, t- you know, they were, it was 94 or whatever, right. so 95. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, you guys had that band, so you'd bring stuff to the dance. So I brought it to the yeah. dance, and then he played, the DJ played it, and we, we danced to it. And we thought yeah. that was cool. And I remember one time you couldn't get it played. There was a couple times where the guy just wouldn't play it. Yeah. At other dances, whoever DJ, whatever DJ. Yeah. And you'd come up to me and be like, hey, man. Like I got Weezer Pinkerton, or I got Presidents too. Their second album didn't do as well. Right. It's always the second album of the bands that didn't do as well. And you're like, I can't get them to play it. And Peppy and I'd be like, Oh, that's so lame. I would love if they'd play that. We had, that. we were really excited that like you were walking around with that CD because like even then a lot of that people was, didn't buy two. That was status. Yeah, I mean it sold okay, but yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. in East Palestine just bought the first one and forgot right. about them. Right, right, right. Like that album sold like just miles high, better than anything else they've done since. Right. And, like, and so, yeah, man, and that, really that, I remember you as being the guy. We brought Helen Assey to dance, I think. And yes. And Beastie Boys. And yes, things, yeah. I remember and that. Dumb thing. We'd, we'd bring music and stuff. But did you, so you didn't have inter- social interactions at dances that no. were significant? No, because I sat on the bleachers. Cause oh, I, well, because I, 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 we're all adults now, I guess. But when you're a kid and you're fat, you're like, I don't deserve to, you know, that's just how oh, you feel. Okay. You and I, unless, kind of place, unless yeah. you're, unless you're, and I'm not trying to, you know. But that's, I guess that's how you feel when you're a kid, and, and mm-hmm. because of, of a perceived, uh, uh, what, what would you call that? Like a, uh, you mean what are you talking about? Like status? Like or you, you think that you're not, I don't know, perceived deficit, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, that was the time when people made fun of fat people more too. Well, right. Like, people were a little bit meaner than they are now that's about true. stuff like that. But I don't know that like, anyone ever even picked on me. Well, that's good. But I just thought, well, I'm not. I just won't. maybe you dodged a bullet, man, because I know a lot of my experiences were not good too. Like oh, yeah. I had somebody threw me in a trash can. At no, shut yeah. up. This sucked, man. He he. Who he, was uh, it? Uh, I won't say his name, but I'll pause it real quick. <laughs> Hold on. Oops. Just... Did we lose it? No. 
So I guess this guy's in, in prison now that I'm about to reference. But yeah, this dude, he was watching me. I had some gigantic striped shirt on and shorts that went down to my knees of and course. looked like a dork. And, you and have, he you just probably did had it. A, a visor on. Yeah, I probably had like a visor on. And like, he like, I didn't even talk. It wasn't like I said something to him to make him angry. You could tell somebody dared him or he was like, check it out, group of guys I'm with. Right. And he just like, he just like tackled me from behind and, and like threw me into this really tall trash can. That's terrible. And then like there was another time where I stepped on a dude's shoes oh. and he like came up to me and like loomed over me and like put his face in my face. You scuffed. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your shoes. And he didn't even say anything. He just stared at me forever and like weird. moved on. And like so, I had a lot of moments because I was put myself out there that were bad as well right. as good. So well, maybe you also, dodged something. Well, and I'm not saying I wasn't at these dances. I you were go. there, but you I were on go. the bleachers sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. I remember in seventh grade, I went to a dance with, like, I had a date, Annie, her name was Annie something, she was in my grade, Annie. Foster. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and, but I didn't really, I just kind of sat there and she was with, so it wasn't like a thing, because it was, mm-hmm. I was a kid and I didn't understand, you know, feelings. I don't know, it was very strange. It's It's not, I can't. There's nothing there to connect. Well, the thing, the, here's the thing to connect is that on other episodes, such as one called Community Centers and gaz- Gazebos and Community Centers or something like that with a guy named O.K. Parker, we talk about a scene that we subsequently of what Tim's describing built in East Palestine. Mm-hmm. We couldn't fit in to right. the dances. Yeah. So what it led to the gazebo show. was yeah, us okay. creating an indie music scene in East Palestine based yeah. on Downshift. Based on like other people <laughs> that like showed us you could play the music. You, did stuff. you know the down? Do you remember like they were a, they were a cover? They were band. cover band, but you know they threw in an original here. But people and there, loved and, like, them. Yeah, they still. I mean, I I credit them. That if, makes people me don't know who they are. We're just talking about a small that town. That still cover band. makes me crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like they're yeah. probably all dead for all I know. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know any of them except I do know that Scott Guthrie, who goes by Teo Guthrie now, mm-hmm. uh, like he plays trombone on Broadway. Yeah. What? Ryan, no, that's crazy. What? Ryan Ryan plays bass in a lot of local stuff. I think. Oh, that's good. He's like, still playing. I think I've seen him at in New Waterford and a couple places around where he like plays bass and oh, stuff. Oh, good. That's and good. then Wes, it's been a while. McCormick was at a show. Okay. Um, he still does like blues stuff. Okay. Like cool. he does his own stuff. I always liked Greg. Yeah, yeah. And he was seemed like he was like he's the a most s- like plugged in. Yeah, still he's a real to, like, soulful music. guy. I yeah. like him. I think him and I Barrett him. were on their way to Leon Bridges' show after like a few weeks after I saw him. He like told me about the had tickets. Oh, wow. So he's kinda plugged in still to like stuff. Yeah. Like some of those no no offense to anybody if you're listening from East Palestine, but some of those guys like they decide to quit on life. They and they did. like, well, that's what they're like, I like little... Skinner and Nirvana right. and whatever, and that's it. And you know, well, it's, it's cool that he's following town. stuff. Yeah. Small town minds. Yeah, either you, know. you, you drink or you get creative or whatever, right. or both. Well, and yeah. I think that's it because there's yeah. very little to do because yeah. I realize that now. And I live in Boardman, yeah. which is, but there's things here. And then I, oh, a couple weeks back, I was down visiting my dad. He lives just outside of East Palestine, in, the, in the, the hills and the country and the rolling whatever. But then I went to the house I grew up in, which he's sold, someone else lives there now. And I just kind of sat there in my car looking at it, and I had a moment where I was like, I was trapped here. You know what I mean? Mm. Not in a negative or abusive way, just in a, there is nothing here. This is probably why I wanted to do something, because there was, no, there was literally nothing to do, yeah. other than it was... It was be make music, or get a gun and shoot it in the woods, or be a farmer, or something like that, or you know, I don't know. It's 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 difficult. And credits due to whatever path they chose of the ones you just named to the yeah. ones that lasted and yeah, like yeah, still sure. still like are living life but, and trying to have them, fun. Do any of them even live there anymore? I wonder. I imagine. From my people, observation, a lot of them do. Like a lot, oh, they, really? they don't tell you that. But right. if you walk through there, ashamed. if you walk through East Palestine, you'll find a couple. Yeah, um, I'm not. I can't speak for everybody. I think you're right. A lot. A lot of people ran ran away. Well, because yeah. you kind of. I don't know if you have to or. Some people have to. I I, I see that now. I used to kind of hate that idea, but I get why people do that and stuff. Well, I mean, you left. 
Oh yeah, I guess I did too. I I don't really consider myself as someone who ran away because I didn't like go no, to California. No, you didn't run away. Yeah. No, no, it's not yeah. that. I just. You... But you're talking about people who literally live in East Palestine. Yeah, they, yeah. There's there are a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. There are a lot of people in you're in my graduating class that are there. Yeah. I've seen them. They're there. Oh no, like, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah. 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 And some of them are pretty happy. Like it's not they're not all people that gave up, but a lot of them no, are. <laughs> no, and but and that's and that's the thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like yeah. a lot of these people are incredibly happy. Yeah. Several of these guys are on the fire department now and yeah. they have their little houses with their little wives and their little kids and they're perfectly content and happy. Yeah. But you're right. Which, you and I did I, leave. You which and I, I don't leave. understand. Yeah. Right. Because I would be that I would go out of my mind. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. If I were just well, it's just where I'm from, no, just and again, I know this sounds offensive, and I think I'm intending it to be. I really didn't have a great experience there. Yeah. Um, it was okay. Mm-hmm. It's where I grew up. I think everyone has a... Not everyone, because again, a lot of people are still there. Just, well, married my high school sweetheart, and we got ten kids, and, yeah. and I'm giving them an accent, which they don't have. Why am I doing that? Well, a lot of people in East Palestine did have... There was, like, the the neighbor right next to you would have a West Virginia accent, and then the neighbor next to them would have what me and Tim sound like. Then the neighbor next to them would sound different. Like, That's it was kind true. of a weird melting pot, even though it was a really small town with not much diversity. Otherwise. Right. Like, well, yeah, it was just a whole bunch of white people. But they were, like, different <clears throat> white people, like, That's right very next true. to each other. And I, I want... But, and I can't... It's not, I don't think that's even an, an economic thing because typically neighborhoods in that town even were the same sort of. But then there's yeah, people. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was just like people wealthy moved people. From West Virginia or moved right. from certain and then, places. But there's also wealthy people there, which is like, because a lot yeah. of people, the Muses, remember them? Mm-hmm. Their dad was a pilot or something. Mm-hmm. And they had that night, they lived in that development. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's in town, so that's a weird. You mm-hmm. don't think of these things when you're a kid. Why my family's different than yours. There was this kid, Ben Cohen. Do you remember him? Mm-hmm. He, they went to our church when I was a kid. So I used to go to his house mm-hmm. when I was younger. Because when you're younger, your parents are like, this is your friend. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not. And, and it didn't occur to me that they had a lot of money, but they're both attorneys, his parents. Mm-hmm. They had a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like a lot. And the house was huge. Well, that's that's what's interesting about small towns like East Palestine is that maybe people, they're like hiding out. Well, they're they're hiding out, but also attorneys and pilots are in cities. Right. So in our heads, is, whoa, they're rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but which but they're probably that not. means in our heads that means they don't they don't work at Sparkle. They're rich. Right. <laughs> like right. Like so. No, that's true. There's perspective in that regard. I didn't too. think of it like that. Yeah. I'm not going to defend. I I have pride in it because I like small towns. But there were a lot of bad experiences for a lot of people there because people w- weren't very tolerant of like people if they were different and creative. That's and they like, true. like I said about getting thrown in a trash can, it wasn't horrible. But there were times where people were like, "What are you queer?" That happened yeah, a yeah. lot, a lot. That happened to me like every week. What you like, ratting, boy? Yeah, 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 stuff like that. And I'm not saying anyone hurt me or did anything horrible, but East Palestine was like a lot of small towns were. Like, yeah, we're like, Just oh, a there's nasty, definitely a bad side. Like, not a nasty. Undereducated white folks. Right. And I have pride in it because of the you and me and everybody else who magnetized together right. came out of it. And I right. credit the small town for giving the freedom to create oh, like sure, a sure, low sure. economy. Sure, sure. But right. there's that's only one side of the coin. Right. Like and like you said, man, yeah, I I, I didn't even think about that. Like I'm not there either. Right. I'm not there either. Right. There's so for many people reason. that went to California. And yeah, so yeah. I think they're not there. I think I'm still there. No, right? you're not. Yeah. You're and it's like, it's interesting because I don't have pride in the sense that I think no one should leave. Uh, it's fine if you leave. Right. But like, I guess because of a hybrid of going on tours with my band and saying I'm from Youngstown and, and then kind of in my head just but I mean, glomming he's Youngstown and East Palestine together, which yeah. shouldn't be. Right. Like, I don't and and because of family members and friends i know that went way farther away than me a fr- our friend Mindy went to new york my friend steve yeah. went to florida california new york, new york i think of myself as someone who had has my finger on the pulse still but you and i left too yeah we left too we're gone yeah and, and so people are still there and maybe that's why i appreciate it maybe no, 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 no. because you're no. not in, and because you're also not that you're romanticizing it well i am no you can say that well i am, I am. You, because yeah. you're like well these things were positive yeah but i'm like yeah, well, these things were negative. Yeah. So all I'm thinking about is the, the this instead. Because I'm sure they were a little cute. I could walk around. I remember walking around a lot, walking around town, and I had my my CD player, like a disc man, and I had that. And I would listen to like Blink One Eighty Two and Weezer, and I would walk around with uh, with uh, Josh Reddig and uh, Brendan Gillis. 
and we would talk about Weezer and we would make up uh, skits in our heads mm. and we would talk about it. And I remember Chris Vargo had a drum set and we played music together a little bit. Mm -hmm. So there are like shift. there are like things. Yeah, yeah. that's right, he was. Mm -hmm. So there were like Yeah, little things. Maybe I'm choosing to Huh. Interesting. But did you go to prom? Yeah. What was that? I like? assumed you did. I went to after prom. Oh, because that's Downshift why I thought played, that. I think. Okay. I think. I don't remember. Yeah, I went to prom um I think the last couple years I Who'd went, you go with? I went to Columbiana Prom. Oh my god, I did with, too. With Edwina who was on this podcast. Who did I go? Ellen? 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 Who did Tim go to prom, Who did I go with, to in prom with in Columbiana? Do you remember? She was tall and she had glasses. Do you remember that? Jessica Rouse? Was that it? She used to thought date. thought that was Billy. Yeah, no, she dated Billy and then asked me to prom. So That's you right. went with her? Yes. Okay, Jessica Rouse. And it was at that place in like Struthers. Right. Or Jillian's was the after see. party too. Yes. Yeah. I remember seeing you bowling somewhere at a prom. Jillian's. Jillian's. Yeah, because that, that was the after prom. prom. Yeah. yeah. You you were there. Yeah, I was there. We were all there. And she went with Peppy. That's right. Mm -hmm. We were all there, but we like we were like, mm, but we didn't. That was this close. To making him straight. To make him happy straight, yeah. <laughs> well, if anyone could do it, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then that same year, I went to um, uh, East Palestine prom with somebody who now runs uh, downtown, Christopher's downtown, Shauna, who you dated. Yeah, that I, was my first girlfriend ever in the world. I don't know if that was but my Pepin senior. Pepin was like the biggest player, like right after that, mm -hmm. at um, 7 and 14, like Mindy thought she was dating Peppy. Yeah. I thought I was dating yeah. Peppy. And that other girl from East Palestine thought she was dating Peppy. Lindsay. And we were all at 7 and yeah. 14 at the same time. He was losing his mind. Mm -hmm. Well, do you think Do you think he was like, I'm I'm gay and don't, can't, you know what I mean? Do you think it was that? No, do I think, think he was just too nice because he asked think, me to prom. Yeah. Do you think I didn't he ask knew? Him. But we should ask, we should, Peppy, we should be asking you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> because that that's a thing. Like, he inadvertently, like, wrecked a lot of shit. <laughs> without knowing it yeah. or maybe he did know it but was like I don't know because I, I don't his experience will never be my experience I have no idea what that I think he was just too sweet because like. mm -hmm. he is very sweet yeah. he's probably like I uh, uh. Okay. I just picture him like uh, <laughs> sorry and yeah. it'll all work out the first time like I went on like a date with Peppy, I took him to Aladdin's <laughs> which like now that's it's amazing hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that's incredible I made someone drive from like Columbia to East Palestine to Boardman, to East Palestine, to Columbia, Anna, because I didn't have my license either yet. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a foreign exchange student and Jonathan Duran. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so that means I, I'm not going to get the years right, but yeah, Peppy went with the girl Lindsay um, to prom. Uh, I don't know. Her. McCormick, Greg. Oh, sister. yeah, yeah. She's so got kids. She now. runs Libs Market, who we've talked about on this podcast. Yeah, I saw her. There's a lot of weird connections in Youngstown because of her Salem ago. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Yeah, we went there, and our friend Anna was there, and um, yeah. uh, I, Anna, I know Todd Anna was there. Anna got out. She's yeah. in New York somewhere. Right. Todd, Todd, who was on an episode called um, Persons of Interest and Van Magnets, was involved, uh, if anyone has heard that episode. Yeah, he kind of, well, here's Todd, adorably, dated most of my friends. Yeah. And a few of the girls that I had crushes on. A right. few. One or two. Mm -hmm. not, not, not everyone. I right. want to make that clear, Todd, when you hear this. Yeah, I understand yeah. that you didn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Todd stole my girlfriend. No, and no, I that kidding. never happened. No, that know. never happened. But um, <laughs> he did date a lot of my friends. Sure. In one way or another. Uh, but that's because he spent most of his time with me. Yeah. And then girls were like, who's that? Mm -hmm. Oh. And then it just happened. And that's a thing. And, you know. But uh, A lot of girls that I know, including my wife, spent time with Peppy. And they liked him better than me, and then they found out he was gay. And then and they said, "Well, they're I guess like, who's we'll that? Say, oh, we'll that's say, Lee. Okay, I guess. I guess. No, they didn't say who's, who's that? that. They were like, who's, who's that? that? Happy God, can I he guess... not be around us on our date right now? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're like, well, I just what guys? I'm just hanging out. What? What? We're, right. we're just we're... see. I was guilty of that too. We're in a band. I was guilty of being too nice to a fault, and then people got the wrong idea about me, and I wasn't gay. There, a lot of people <laughs> did that in East Palestine. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't mean they got the idea I was gay. I'm saying. I would be so nice and say yes to everything and then wreck things in that yeah, regard. Yeah. You know, people do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a teenager especially. Um, well, I mean, I think that happens to a lot of uh, uh, young women. 
Mm-hmm. And then a lot of young men are like, bah, that bitch ruined my life and mm-hmm. broke my heart. And I'm like, no. She was just scared no, of you. She, she was like dude. scared because of to this hurt your reaction. Yeah, right, she right. was way too nice. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of young men, don't, young men, if you're listening, don't be that guy. It's hard not to be, but please try if your you, best to if like, you like not, somebody. Be yeah. straight up and say, hey, I like you. Yeah. And they say, I don't. And young women, I don't feel the same way. And then yeah. you're not going to be friends. All right. Don't try to be friends because that's right. going to ruin things, too. Just go be people and be happy and be strong. That sounds right. Right? I mean, people don't, don't realize that advice. saying your peace actually is relieving. Oh, absolutely. Even if you get rejected, it's exactly. okay. Exactly. Yeah. And that's fine. Just I remember when I was in fourth grade or something like that, fifth grade, sixth grade, Abby Dunn is a girl that was in my grade. I don't know if you remember her. She's mm-hmm. kind of tall. Yeah. She lived in Negley. I think she still lives there. After, Yeah, I think she's still there. But anyway, I called her on the phone and asked to be my girlfriend, and she said no. But it felt better. That you did it. That I called. Because yeah, I mean. she was in the phone book. I got her. You didn't yeah. have to ask for her number. No. Because of phone books. Because uh-huh. she was a child and so was I. Yeah, I did that, but I just hung up. <laughs> did you? <laughs> That's awesome. Same person. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> no, but, Everyone was calling her. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's it's interesting. Yeah, to say your piece really does get a lot out of, off your shoulders, even at a young age. You remember Liz Tiger? Mm-hmm. I found she were Facebook friends. I, I, I messaged her the other day. I'm like, dude, I was just looking at Facebook. I had such a crush on you when we were in school. Mm-hmm. I just wanted, like, now I said that, mm-hmm. and she's like, oh, that's awesome. And it yeah. is like she completely understood what I was saying. Mm-hmm. I'm like, here's the thing I should have said a hundred years ago that yeah. I just think you should know. Yeah, that's at at cool. this point in your life, I appreciated who you were, mm-hmm. and you know, yeah, man, yeah. you know, have a good day. Yeah, man. I think. I mean, well, is that weird? Is that creepy? Well, I don't think you intended it to be, so okay. I don't think there's a problem with that at all. She um, responded well. Yeah, at least she wasn't like, uh, well, I'm not no. interested right now. I'm You're like, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Cause like, I know you could take it wrong. Right. I understand that. Well, okay, so we've covered school dances and crushes and small town life. Everything, so, yeah. you guys, you guys that are listening, I gotta emphasize this. Even if you have no idea who these two guys are talking, if you've had any experience with a small town, hopefully we got something out to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe hey. you learned something, or maybe you, you have something you want to email in and be like, "You guys are stupid. Right. Small towns suck." Or I love small towns. I I, I grew up here. I have ten kids. <laughs> right, right. You know? Maybe you're that guy. Yeah. But if you're that guy, no, that's mean. I'll say it anyway. If you're that guy, you probably don't know what a podcast is. You might not be listening. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Is that a, hey, um, mom? (laughs) Hey, mom, we're We're on on a podcast. podcast. Make sure you guys email clograve at gmail.com, C-H-L-O-E-G-R-A-V-E at gmail.com if you'd like to sponsor an episode, be on an episode, or just call me a small town hayseed that doesn't know what he's talking about. (laughs) Hayseed? Yeah, hayseed. All right, see you guys. Mm